Instagram, especially for you this evening, we have the most beautiful girl, the most beautiful woman in Romania who represents Romania for Miss World. Hello. Ada. Hello, I was saying that I was very nervous when I came to, to meet her. Uh, till, uh, till I reached, I was fine, but then I've seen you and uh, suddenly I feel a wave of being proud and you know I felt yeah because it's an important thing Romania didn't have a contestant for Miss World in the last seven years yes we are back after seven yes. years and I am so proud to be here as well I'm so happy you are here to support me and to support us <laughs> of course uh, I mean it, it's a proud moment for me and uh, I'm so so happy uh, for Romania to be part of uh, this uh, it's a big thing and thanks to you this happens thank you so much Ada for oh. making this possible for Romania yeah that's an important it is, it, is my, it is my honor to be Romania's representative for Miss World. It is something that I've worked for for a very long time because it is not just about pretty dresses and you know looking beautiful. It is much more than that and I'm happy to discuss that with you tonight. With yes. you all, actually. Yes, please tell us. Tell us because I'm sure, like, uh, I don't know so many things. I know that, of course, because um, you have to be beautiful. That's that's a must, right? But it's not only that, it's a whole package. So you please tell us about it. What it takes to be Miss Romania, what it takes to be Miss uh, X country. Yes, so uh, the thing is, you know, beauty is such a subjective thing. So because we have contestants from 120 countries, we have people from Asia, we have people from Africa, we have people from the Americas. Uh, beauty is very different in all of these areas. So it's very hard to say, oh, this girl is beautiful and this girl is not. It is obviously much more than that. So Miss World actually lasts this year for three weeks and we are doing so much here and we had many challenges already. It is about grades, it is about body of course, your body is great, you have a sports challenge actually. Um, it is about charity. What kind of a sport challenge? So we had, we had a sports challenge in New Delhi actually, okay. yes, because that's where we were for the yeah. first two weeks. And uh, we were running, we had uh, girls play cricket and Wow, that's hockey. fun. Yes, actually Europe won. Wow, the sports challenge. Yes, Europe is a very strong group this year actually. And we also had we also had the head-to-head -head challenge, which is the public speaking challenge. You can find my speech on my profile on Instagram. Yes, please go on the link that I put there on Instagram and see her page, see her speech, and uh, see more about Romania and about her because she represents Romania. Uh, yes. So uh, there you speak, uh, you've spoken about your work, about the ONG that you were uh, actually. Yes, um, uh, I yeah. I founded it. I'm the president of my own NGO, which is called Invested in Dreams. And along with my team, we work with girls in the child protection system and we offer them professional training in the field of beauty for now but we're playing on expanding so that when they leave the system they have a stable income and they don't end up in you know unfortunate situations which happens to so many of them exactly that's a beautiful initiative I'm so happy you do that um, I had a, at one point I had this idea in mind as well so I'm so happy that we do it maybe who knows maybe we work together for, for a project like this that would be wonderful I would love that and I'm sure that girls that I yes. work with would love that and would love to meet you as well <laughs> actually uh, you because you're so beautiful and talented she's a singer as well by the way <laughs> uh, she yeah she's very uh, modest so she doesn't say uh, everything about her about all her I talents do, yeah too many things actually but yes. I've been singing since the age of three, actually. Oh my God. Yes, I've, um, you know, I uh, took lessons for many years. I uh, graduated from the School of Arts in Bucharest, actually. But um, I don't do it as much because I focus on school. I have a I have a bachelor's degree in security studies, and then I did my master's at University College London in public policy. And you my with brain and talent. <laughs> yes. I mean, you can't be like that. I, I think, yes, I'm trying to develop myself, you know, in many facets, so it is not just physical appearance to me, but I've worked a lot on myself as a person, and uh, I think my goal in life is to leave this world a better place than I found it, and I'm trying to do that, you know, just one person at a time, because you can't help everyone, unfortunately, 
but you can help a few people and make a difference. And this is what I believe in, and this is what I'm telling here at Miss World. Because Miss World, to me, is a platform where I can talk about all of these issues, where I can bring awareness to the world about what we're going through. And I've spoken a lot about education, about education in Romania especially, about the struggles we're facing, and about, especially about early school leaving, because many Romanian children abandon school, and it's something that I am very concerned about. And I heard it's a very special connection for you, uh, the subject um, you chose for a reason. Yes, it it's because I'm a teacher. I've actually been a teacher since I was 19. I work um, in a private school, so I teach English in the Cambridge system. I was trained by Cambridge experts. Uh, so for me, when I teach English, it's very fun. It's about music, it's about games, and the students really, really enjoy that. And to them, it's not like learning in school, you know, because learning in Romanian school is almost always based on memory. Mm -hmm because the system hasn't been reported in many years. So I want to bring that into our public system. I want our children to experience fun learning and learning and with to be passion. Creative. Yes, and yeah. to be creative as well. Because I think um, a lot of the times our children are being, you know, kept down by the system. And they have so much potential and this is what I want to bring in the attention of the world. There will be a great change in the educational system in Romania and everywhere in the world. I think um, this part uh, is missing in certain countries, not everywhere in the world, definitely. It's hard. But what I was saying that, I was mentioning because I know there is a story related to your father as well. Yes. Why have you chosen to, to take care of the girls who are from? Uh, so I work with girls from orphanages because my father was actually one of the. Romanian orphans, they were so famous around the world, the orphanages of terror and communism. He was there just until the age of three because he had the chance to be adopted by my grandparents. He went to Bucharest then and he grew up in a loving house and most importantly got the chance to have quality education which is how he got to be the man he is today. His siblings unfortunately did not get the same chance. So. It is very much important for children in the uh, protection system to have that kind of support because we don't, they don't have it from their parents. So they need someone to be the investors in their dreams, which is why we picked this name. Who invested in your dream? It was definitely my parents. So I have very supportive parents, the most incredible ones that I could ever ask for, and they're watching right now. They're in Romania, right? Vă pup, mami, tati, da, sunt în România. Vă pup și eu, să știți că aveți o fată minunată. Este pe lângă faptul că e superbă, e și talentată și, sincer, sunt foarte mândră de ea. Sper că și noastră, adică sunt convinsă că și noastră sunteți mândră, mândri de, de, de ea și uh, o să vin acasă, eu zic, cu Yes, we were sending a message to my parents actually, and I yeah. was saying that they are incredibly supportive. They've, they've always supported me throughout my life. I made all of my decisions myself, and they were just there to stand by me. Because I think in Romania, mm -hmm. there are also a lot of misconceptions about pageants. Yeah. And my parents were never like that. They supported me from the end to the beginning, and from the uh, beginning to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. Doesn't matter. Okay. They and were they, there the whole time. That's they were the, always there. The point, and yeah. they never had this thing like, oh, you, you've you studied, you are smart, you are accomplished, you shouldn't go to these kind of things. Because a lot of people ask me that. Why do you pageants, why do you do pageants if you're so smart? And I tell them, you know, <laughs> you can't do one without the other. I mean, you have to be smart in a beauty pageant because it is not just about looks. What is it all about? Tell us. Because we don't know. We haven't been part of it, so we have no idea. Tell us. Yes, so as I've been telling you, it's a lot about, of course, appearance, but also brains. Because as you see, we speak a lot. We have a lot of <laughs> interviews. And Miss World goes all over the globe. So she travels to many countries, speaks to very important people, officials of the country. Uh, as you can see here in India, we've met many officials and many important people. Very figures mm -hmm. and um, obviously you can't have someone who is not able to do that. Of course and you're representing a whole country, you're representing the country so definitely it has to be the speech, it has to be the look, the brain, the, the, the talents and whatever platform you're investing in. 
Yes, Beauty with a Purpose is what is called in uh, Miss World. So Miss World actually started Beauty with a Purpose, which is their own organization helping children all around the world. As Miss World, you are also the ambassador of Beauty with a Purpose, and all of us here at Miss World had to present our own project as part of the Beauty with a Purpose challenge. What's your project? So my project is all about my NGO that I just spoke okay. about earlier. Yes, it's about investors in dreams. This yeah. is what I've spoken about. Yeah. And I think it is uh, nice that we are actually making a difference, you know. And you can use this platform, you can use Miss World to speak about it everywhere. And I've had a lot of people come to me after, you know, appearing on television and also here in India come to me and say, I want to work with you, I want to help, I want to invest in these girls. Mm -hmm. And that is huge. It is, it is a massive a massive help and I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to do that. What do you think made the jury to choose you and not all the other girls in Romania? I think one of the biggest parts was the fact that I have Besides this package of you know the looks and the you know the brain, the studies, the accomplishments, the charity, I also had the experience because this is my fourth beauty pageant. This is the fourth time I'm representing Romania. Actually, two years ago in 2022, I was in Miss International in Japan, and which is uh, like the third biggest pageant in the world. Oh, yes. that's impressive. So I've been doing this for a long time. I've also been supporting other Romanian representatives at beauty pageants. So because we are returning after so many years, uh, they definitely wanted someone who can bring the experience with them. Because here we have very strong competitors. We have girls who have trained for a long time. We have girls who have been crowned maybe two years ago. So I was just I was just crowned a few months ago. I didn't have as much time to prepare as some of these girls. What does it mean preparation for, for such a big, huge contest? So in preparation for the contest, it is, you know, you have to, of course, go to the gym, take care of your body, prepare all this wardrobe. We have so many bags with us full of beautiful clothes. <laughs> and I'm showcasing a lot of Romanian designers, so you want to you can check it out um, but other than that I was also focused a lot on my work with the NGO and also about showcasing it so we, we did videos my introduction video to present myself on the country my beauty with a purpose video and also all of these um, going around having interviews telling people gathering support of the country which is so important because here Many of these girls have such high support, you have no idea. There's people coming from all over the world to watch the Miss World pageant. And I know in Romania it is not as much of a big thing, but we are slowly learning and I am so grateful for the fact that I got to be a guest on many shows before I went, before I came to India. And I've gained so much support and I am so happy to see the people commenting on my posts, sending me messages. Sometimes I don't have time to reply to everybody, but it is so, so nice and it has kept me going for so long. Yeah, actually last night, you know, um, I was traveling towards uh, India. I came from Romania. I, I got all the love from Romania I for you to so. do it to you, you know. <laughs> and um, I met some Romanians, uh, they were flight attendants, and they told me about you. They, they said they are uh, staying in the same hotel, and they were very Hi. happy, and they were like very uh, excited to meet you. So, I, I actually met with some fight attendants from Romania, yes, I Okay, really so you met them already. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. great, that's great. So you have some supporters here. I'm here, and I'm sure many of uh, the Romanians who are uh, in India and, uh, of course, uh, all over the world um, are uh, there for you, and uh, they are sending their love and uh, their support because uh, we need it. It's a big, it's a huge competition. They are girls from all over the world. They are all beautiful and talented. And someone has to make a difference, you know? It's true, it's so. true. And support matters so much. Mm -hmm. And I have to say a huge thank you to, obviously here is the, our little family from the <laughs> consulate in Mumbai. Thank you so much. And of course, Her Excellency, our ambassador, who contacted me through Ms. Verma, who I also thank very much. And there's just been I I wasn't I wasn't expecting this much support, but it, it's really heartwarming 
because it's been a tough competition, I have to tell you. There are so many girls here and it's, you know, everybody's bringing the absolute best of their country. And it is very hard to compete with that, you know, but I also have my team here and it is, to me, it is just overwhelming and I am so happy about that. Yes, you deserve it. But tell me what you've got the best from Romania. So, uh, from Romania I brought, of course, our culture. I talk about our culture a lot here. Actually, on the 1st of March, I gave everyone what's Oh, As nice. it is customary, all the ladies have one and they were wearing it. Let's explain to them for those ones who don't know about it. So we have this tradition in Romania when the springtime starts. It's like um, announcing the springtime yes. uh, coming. Um, we have a thread, white and red, uh, that we um, give to yes. everybody around. Um, and uh, that's a message of uh, joy Sweet. and yes. uh, rebirth well, and free. yeah and actually joy I think it is it's true it's true and unity in the end it is and yeah. everybody has really enjoyed it all the girls have been wearing it and that was really nice I actually have a wonderful national costume as well which was made by Pavel Koeman he oh. is actually he's actually from Moldova oh lovely but he feels so close to Romania of course so he was so happy to help me and create this national costume for me it has Romanian motifs um, the embroidery and then pressed flowers it is absolutely stunning oh, and I you will it. see it on the final night and that's on the 9th of March so you have to watch it you can't miss this the most beautiful girls in the world will be there the most talented and there will be many challenges for all of them uh, so it's Besides the fact that it's very beautiful, uh, it'll be very entertaining and very challenging as well. Yeah, a great yeah. show, a great yeah. show. And who's going to host it? Uh, who's going to host it? Yeah. So it's one of the former Miss Worlds, Megan Young, it's her okay. name, and of course an Indian presenter. But Karin we have, Jabbar, I heard. Yes, we sure. have, yes, and we have a yeah. lot of Indian very important guest singers as well. There is a special Miss World song this year. Wow. And this whole choreography, of course, the theme is Bollywood. We want it. Wow. It's gonna be bling. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be dancing. Exciting. We're all learning uh, dances, special dances, and we're gonna have actually a round in uh, Indian wear. Okay. You, yes. Are you gonna wear a sari as well? Uh, it is not a sari, but it is a, a, an Indian uh, dress. Yes. So it is. Yes, it is inspired. Yes, a lenga. Yeah. It is actually a lenga. Some mm -hmm. girls are wearing a different thing, but it's depending on the continent. Okay. But I will be wearing a lenga, and it's mm -hmm. it is absolutely stunning. It has so many details on it, and I can't wait to share it with you. I can't right now because it's confidential. The Indian work is amazing, so I'm sure it's going to look beautiful on you. It will be great, and we also have our little choreography. Yeah, tell me a little bit about the Bollywood choreography. That would be exciting for sure. Yes, yeah, so we're doing. We're doing all of these in heels and like massive dresses, so it's a very hard, you know, 120 girls on stage, but we have our little, you know, our little dance. Yeah, show me, show me a little bit of moves. <laughs> At least on the couch you can show. Yeah, yeah, we, we do a little bit of this, yes. and then the moves, and then we turn, and of course this. No and there is a lot, of, yeah, there is a lot of movement on the stage as we cross each other, and the continents all merge together. It's oh, it's beautiful. gonna be beautiful. The stage is also massive. It's gonna be at the Geo World Center. Yes. And when I saw it, I was just like, <laughs> Are you going to sing as well? I will not be singing the final uh, because there are many guests singing. I did, however, reach the top 23 of talent. So oh, that's amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> that was really good. Yes. But at least for us, a little bit of singing because you, I know I've heard you singing and I know that you have an amazing voice. Can you please sing such a voice? Of course. I can, send, I can sing for you what I did for my talent. Of course. Which is um, a Romanian song, so I sang Lia Chocolier wow. for the judges, and That's I have to one. say, yeah, I have to say, everybody appreciated it so much, and they are still searching for it. They're asking, oh, what's the name? Because I want to hear more Romanian folklore songs, which is, yes, so I'm sharing a lot of the please, culture. Please, of please. course. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Să-mi spui tu mie 
Că ce zbori în mântâng Și dai de pământ Și dai de pământ I know you are proud for her, I know that. It's beautiful and it's the essence of the Romanian music, it's folk, right? So it says a lot about our essence, about uh, yes. our hearts. It is, of course, I actually told the judges what the song means, means. because they don't understand yeah. the Romanian lyrics, but I wanted to convey the message well. to my voice. So Lie Joker Lie is a song about a bird who is crying because she lost her chick, but it's of course a metaphor about mothers losing their children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I told them about my grandma, which I never met. As I told you, my mm -hmm. father was adopted. Yeah. And so she had to give up my father because they couldn't afford to raise all six children. And when she died, she died of an actual broken heart. And because he, she never got to see him again. And I wanted to, I wanted to express, you know, all that pain that was never said through my song. And I'm happy to tell you that everybody said that they did feel it. Right? I'm sure. I'm sure I felt it. I'm sure they felt it too. Um, and um, it's not an accident. It's a coincidence. The fact that you've chosen this one. That's why you could sing it so so beautifully. Have you learned any Hindi song? Oh, I um, actually yes. We did a little. Uh, with we did a little dance. Yes. I think it's a, the song about the earring falling. I, I don't remember <laughs> how it goes. Do you guys okay. know it, right? Anybody knows? Junka? Junka? Yeah. Junka? Mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. teach you another one if you don't remember that one because you're wearing a um, uh, lenga. Yes. Designer lenga. It's my song. Ah, cool. Yes. It's called Designer lenga. So. Oh. Designer lenga. That's all I understood. Romanian is teaching another Romanian language. <laughs> I'm usually the one teaching people how to speak another language, but here I have a new teacher that is <laughs> Yeah. But have you learned any uh, words in Hindi? Actually, I only know Namaste, namaste. which is unfortunate. <laughs> no, it's good. I mean, you have to greet everybody with Namaste, definitely. Yes, because but it's I such need a to learn more. I need to learn what more. What would you like to learn? We'll learn right now. Um, let's see. I, I think I heard it once, but how do you say thank you? Shukriya. 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 Anything else you want to know? Um, I love you. How do you say I love you? Kartihu or Kartahu? Depends. If you are a if you are a girl, you will say to the boy Kartihu, um, correct? Yeah. And if you are a uh, if you are a boy, you want to say to a girl, it's Kartahu. Uh, ah. Yeah. Okay. So nice. <laughs> Learn this to tell. Okay, so met your boy. Oh my, yes. Um, or maybe there, not. <laughs> there is someone at home. <laughs> there is someone at home. Yeah, watching. Don't tell them that. All of them will be broke, heartbroken now. <laughs> See, it's okay. You're I'm joking. I'm joking. No, 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 no. It's good that you have a support. You have somebody there who is, uh, you know, cheering up for you and uh, yes. who's sending you. There, there are definitely many people at home supporting me as well. Yes. Like, it's not just my family, it's my friends, it's everyone. And I am, I am so, so grateful for all of this and for all of them who are there to watch me. I think um, also through pageantry, I've made so many friends. And I have my friends at home who represented Romania in various pageants mm -hmm. and they are all my friends and they are always supporting me, you know, always sending me messages, always commenting on posts, you know, the Romanian flag, oh, are they stunning? And I, I miss them so much, first of all, and I am so thankful for them. And I'm sure, I'm sure they, they are with their whole heart, people right here. I mean, they are sending, you know, their love and their support, definitely. But uh, tell me one more thing, did you make any friends? Because uh, you spent quite a long time here, right? I did, I did make so many friends and I'm so happy about that. Actually, my roommate is such an amazing girl. She is from Germany, but her parents are Serbian, so our cultures are very similar. We get along so well, we have so much fun together. And I'm Obviously, we have many other girls because I am in the group with 
with all the girls in Europe. I get to see them a lot, of course, so it's them that I'm closest to, but I also made friends all over the world, so it's, you know, it's from Africa, where I have uh, my friend from Kenya wow. here, yes, all the girls from Asia that are so nice, and I think this is one of the most amazing things about the beauty pageant is that you can meet so many cultures and learn so much, and I actually from all of the previous pageants I went to, I still have my sisters from there and they keep supporting me as well and we, I kept in contact with a lot of them and I'm sure I will still have friends from here as well. That's lovely, uh, that's good to make friends and uh, you have I'm sure a common uh, uh, purposes as well so maybe at one point you can join and uh, make the world a better place right because we are all trying to do that, I mean we are at least trying right? Uh, they are doing it for real, and that's uh, admirable, honestly. And the sacrifices that you you all do, because we see only the beauty, the glamour, but we don't see the behind the scenes what's going on. It's Tell me more about that, because I'm sure they will want to know about this. So there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes, and it is uh, not just about you know being here and mm. doing all the rehearsals. It's all the long hours, you know, the on the high the heels, little, yeah, the high heels <laughs> all the time from breakfast till dinner and after. You have to be, you have to be a uh, hundred percent all of the time, and that is difficult. We 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 get, you know, sometimes we get very little sleep, but we keep going. And we do it with a smile. We, we do it with a smile on our faces because it is such an honor to represent your country in such a big contest that everybody is just so grateful to be here that we don't feel all this, you know, all this tiredness anymore. We don't feel the pain in our feet anymore because we know it's for our country, you know, yeah. and for our people. So that that really keeps us going. Did you speak to your parents today? Uh, yes, I spoke to my mom today a bit. I always yeah. talk to her. Uh, I find, you know, always a little time to have a little call with them at least every couple of days because they are really invested in this and they always want to know, of course, if I'm well, but they also want to know, you know, what's happening tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What do we got to do? What are we going to watch? Uh, is this, can we see this live somewhere? Mm -hmm. Of course, my mom always asks me, what are you going to wear? How are you going to do your hair? You know, because um, they were such a close part of this process. Um, obviously, my my mom and my dad, at least, they were almost my stylists at some point. So a lot of them, a lot of these outfits that you see are also picked with them. And yeah, I am very close with my family actually, so I do talk to them a lot. That makes you feel sometimes maybe alone because you don't have them next to you. Being, I mean, far away from from home and uh, and such a tough competition, when the tension, the pressure is so uh, so big. Yes, there were, there were definitely hard moments and there were definitely tough moments and I was happy to have them at least with me in spirit, you know, because they couldn't come here to India, unfortunately. But um, I have to say a huge thank you to the Miss World organization because I've had people here who felt like my second family. So I have my chaperone, who is like my mom. We, we have all, uh, all the wonderful ladies from the staff who always come in and make sure that I'm okay, hug me, you know, give me a good word. It, it helps so much. And I, I was not expecting that either, but it helps. Because it is tough. Yeah, it is tough. So, what do you think for the girls, the young girls, they want to maybe one day to, to do the same thing that uh, you did? What do you think it requires, takes? What's the biggest quality that you have to have? I think first, before you join beauty pageants, you have to find your own way in the world. So, my advice to all of them is go to school, find your passions. Find what sparks you and do that. Be sure of who you are and then come to beauty pageants and show us all of that personality that you can that you've built so far. And of course there are very young girls who join, you know, at 18, 19, and that can be done as well. But I think what is best and if you want to be a great representative, you have to have something of your own before, you know, because here you come and you showcase who you are. And if you don't know that yet, it is very hard for you. But just go ahead, try and explore your passions, see who you are, and then come and show us all of that beauty. Tell me in three words who you are. 
who Anna is. <laughs> so I would describe myself as very driven. I'm a very patient person as well. And I like to think I am warm. At least that is what I try to express, you know? You are, I felt that <laughs> when I met you. You're lovely and I really, really um, wish you all the best. Uh, I know that uh, you'll be noticed, you'll make a difference. Uh, I know that you make a difference in this contest and I know that you'll make a difference even after that, after you leave from this contest because your journey, uh, um, I mean this contest uh, is just one step, which is an important step right now. But later on I know that you'll go on with your work because you started before and now you'll have a larger platform to to, uh, to work. Yes, that is my plan. So exactly. I plan to continue all of this work that I started and you know use this pageant as a way to connect to more people and to uh, enhance everything that I do and to expand the work that we do. And I would have also to say that it is also been just a joy to be here in India because yes. for me, uh, for me, it's been a dream since I was very young to come to India. It was one of my of the countries that was on my bucket list. I was, I was always passionate about it, and when I came here, I was incredibly excited, and all the people are so incredibly nice and welcome and of course you know this because you are I think every time somebody thinks about you know Romania and India they something oftentimes think of you because you're such a great representative of our country Thank here you. I've yes. been blessed to, to live here and to be welcome here um, as you said they are so warm and so kind and so welcoming so I really feel like home there are so many years since now I say I go home I go back to India yes. right I have two houses Romania and India so I feel blessed that I had a chance to grow here because it really that happened to me you know I grew up as a human being as a professional as well, and I am really grateful to this country and now we you know India has this amazing uh, contest Miss World it's what do you think this means for Romania I think for Romania it is a great opportunity to be part of this world because the world gets to know us, it gets to know our culture. As you've seen, I'm trying to share a lot about who we are as people. I'm of course sharing a lot about the beauty of Romania, inviting the people to visit. I think that is very important, you know, we have to take advantage of this to, you know, showcase everything we've got and invite people to our country because now a lot of my sisters also here in this world, they want to visit me. We've already planned. I have girls coming for festivals in the summer, so it's going to be great. And I want to attract more people to get to know Romania, to come visit, to enjoy our culture. Do you have like a favorite destination in Romania where you just like to go and feel, you know? Actually, good. one of the, yeah, one of the places that I love to visit is uh, right next to the old river, so in Bala Urdu, it's actually where my father was born because we met his family, the real family, and um, we we go there oftentimes and it's such a beautiful area and you have the river and the mountains and of course I have the family there that I got the chance to meet, so that is a, a soul place of mine and of course one of my second Let's say a second place that I could love to go to is Suchawa, which is my mom's original mm -hmm. city. So my mom is from Suchawa and I always love to go there. And actually we have a lot of family there, my grandpa, you know, my uncle, yes. cousins. So it is a lot to me, it is about family, you know, where my family is, that is where my heart is. Oh, that's lovely. And I, I'm sure, especially the Indian um, audience and the Romanian audience will uh, will feel what you say very deeply because here in India if you've noticed yes. the family is so important and I really respect that and I admire that uh, India has managed to keep the bonding in the family so strong and that's an admirable thing it doesn't happen all over the world but uh, this is so special and beautiful about India tell me what else have you seen here in India which other places have you visited what have you done I'm very curious how you discovered India because uh, I'm here the longest time but oh, uh, yes. for you it's a new place, right? It so is. I'm very curious how for another Romanian that feels. And I, I think I didn't have as much time as I wanted to visit everything. Of course, I, want, I think I'm going to have to come back and visit Definitely. more because I need to see the Taj Mahal and all of the big <laughs> places. I didn't have time to because we mm. had so many activities with the Miss World. But I've seen Delhi, which yes. was 
which was very beautiful, like a very different vibe from Mumbai. Um, and in Mumbai, we had uh, the pleasure of actually meeting more people here. So I've met with, for example, some children from the Banatri uh, mm -hmm. slum. Yeah. And uh, they were, you know, doing hip hop, doing beatbox, and all this. They had, they were, it was a special school for that. And we got to talk to them a lot. I got to talk to their teacher, their mentor, and that was very inspiring for me, actually. So I think um, it was more of meeting people rather than visiting places. But I've still gotten a taste of the culture, you know, and a taste of the very welcoming atmosphere here. And I, I also love the food. I have to say, oh. I love the food. I am, a, I, am, I am very big on spices, so I oh, love spicy okay. food. A lot of my colleagues, you know, have been having troubles with that, you know, because it's a bit, it's a bit hard if, you, if you're not used to it, but I have to say, I, I think I trained for this. <laughs> because I have a lot of Indian food at home and I oh, love okay. it. I actually have Who's this. cooking Indian food in the family? Um, no one is cooking Indian food in my family, unfortunately. Now but they have I, have to this, learn. I have this. Uh, yeah. I had a former colleague uh, where I first started teaching. Okay. At that school, yes, she was Indian, and she. I think she was the first one to introduce me to the food because she was bringing us some of her food from her family, mm -hmm. and that was really nice. She, I actually met her uh, very recently, and I told her, "Hey, I'm going to India to this school." She was so excited. Yes, she was so excited. She she's actually now uh, teaching dancing Indian dancing in Romania. Yes. Wow. Uh, yes. <laughs> you say hi to her. I'll come hi. to your classes and when I just to practice more. Yes, of course. I, I will share your her Instagram mm -hmm. with you. So yeah, I've had you know I've had the chance to get a taste of India before I came here. So mm -hmm. um, now it's been even more like I love everything. I love the I even love the chai. Oh, oh. Yeah. I go every single day, like everybody goes for coffee, I go for chai. <laughs> but tell me one thing, how do you manage to keep your shape, such a beautiful shape, eating Indian food? That I, I don't understand. Indian uh, food is quite heavy. I know, but it's so good and I've actually, you know, it's been so much work and so much stress yeah. and running around and staying in fields all day that you burn so many calories you don't even feel the energy. So it was, it was the actual, it was actually the best. That's great. I got the best of both worlds, you know, the, the body and the food. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. You're the lucky one. And I, I hope you'll be the luckiest one on the ninth uh, because you need luck as well. It's not only about what you do, it's about the destiny, it's about luck, it's about many other things which uh, counts. Uh, in a contest like this. That is very true. It is It is a bit about luck and because there are so many people here, I think uh, it is oftentimes hard to get noticed, you know, because these judges have to see all these amazing girls. And I have to say, I, don't, I think it's such a hard task. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been a judge myself in Romania mm -hmm. for our national pageant, so I know how hard it is because you see every quality in every girl. And so I will, you know, I will not be upset no matter what the result, because <laughs> I know, because I know that everybody here is so deserving. But I do hope, you know, uh, to bring Romania as close to the crown, if not with the of crown course, as possible. With the crown. <laughs> I would love that. You look beautiful with the crown. Thank I know you. It. I hope I hope I can go. I, I hope I can be there. But uh, my goal for this world was actually to just represent Romania as close to perfection as possible. Uh, you know, have mm -hmm. everybody be proud of me, have myself be yeah. proud of me, and that is, you know, the best that I can do. And the rest is luck, of course. And destiny. We'll destiny. It's destiny. Yeah. How nervous are you for the night? It's like right there. Yeah, it's across almost there. The... It's almost there. I am I'm not feeling the nerves quite yet because still there is so much to prepare and we are always on the run, always going and now it's a rehearsal every day. We were there for many hours. So I don't really have time to sit and think about it, you know, but I think it would it will hit me probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow in the morning. But so far I'm just excited, you know, focused. So yeah, I, I don't feel nervous yet. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And I hope you'll feel super confident that day um, and you'll show to the world what a Romanian can do on the stage. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I think with all the support, I can only feel confident. You know? That's wonderful. And one more thing, because it's going to be Women's Day. Uh, yes. Yes, on the 8th of March. Yeah, 8th of March, Women's Day. Um, please, 
a message for, for the women in Romania and all over the world because women will have a beautiful message, I know it. Yes, so obviously we are doing already, we have some actions prepared for tomorrow for Women's Day, but my message to every woman, I think, has been in this contest as well, that you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to fit just one box. I think many times women are, you know, supposed to be maybe, maybe just a wife or maybe just a teacher, maybe just a miss. For me, it's always, it's always been, oh, why do you uh, teach when you're a mom? Or why do you uh, go to pageants when you have a master's? And why can't we do Oh, why can't we do it all? We can because women are so capable and women can achieve every single thing they want and you can do absolutely anything if you put your mind to it and this is what I want to encourage. I want to encourage women to explore who they are and to follow their passions. If you have that magical uh, wand, yeah, wand. <laughs> so if you have the magical wand, What would I change? Yeah. I think I would want everybody to be able to see the beauty in themselves. Because I am someone who was very shy, anxious all my life. I was worried that I wasn't good enough. I was worried that I won't be perfect, that I won't, I won't perform well. And it has been a journey for me to learn to see the beauty in myself, to, to love myself. And if I could make a little magic trick, I would make everybody be able to see that in themselves, to love themselves. That's a beautiful message. I think we'll end up with this one because it touches the heart and uh, it's a strong message for everybody, not only for the women all over the world, for, for everybody. Because the moment when we love ourselves, we are able to, to share. Love others, yes. Yeah, exactly. And to love others, not to judge everybody else around. So I guess there will be more harmony and good in the world. I think so too. Yeah. I think it would change a lot because I always tell this to my students, you know, when somebody's being mean to you, when somebody, a lot of my kids get bullied, of course, mm -hmm. at school, I always tell them, you know, it is not about you. There is nothing wrong with you. It's just the pain in that person's heart. And they're not able to love themselves. This is why they can't love you. So yeah. I think that would change a lot if people would just love themselves for who they are. Yes, it's very true. And now the last words for this competition, for hopes and dreams and whatever you want to say to the world. First of all, thank you to everybody for watching us live. It has been an honor, Yulia. Thank, thank you very thank much you. for coming to see me. I am, I've, <laughs> I've watched you since I was a little child, obviously on TV. <laughs> we grew up with you. I was, so when, uh, when I got the opportunity to come here and talk to you, I was like, Wow, I did with my mom because we watched you, you know, oh, together. So yes, so thank you. Yeah, thank no, you so thank much. you. And to everybody who watched, and thank you for all the support. Thank you, everybody who was here tonight, actually, because there is a theme that you can't see behind yeah. here. But it's been it's been amazing, and I can't even express my gratitude. But I hope you know you will keep your fingers crossed for me on the 9th of March. Watch, join us, it will be live on YouTube, so you can all see it. And I will, I will bear you with me in my heart when I step on that stage. And when you see me smile, just know that I think of you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> That's wonderful. So she's not only beautiful, talented, and smart. She has a beautiful heart as well. And I'm sure you fall in love with, you fell in love with her as I did. So keep your, um, your uh, click on there. Uh, because, uh, by the way, you didn't know that, but um, to give more support for her, you go on the um, uh, page, a Miss World page, on her page, and um, find out more about her, spend more time there, so that will count as well. Yes. And uh, send all the blessings, all the good energy and love from all over the world for this beautiful, amazing lady, Ada. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us tonight. I know you're very busy and I'm not going to keep you for longer. Lots of love for all of you.